so this is the last video for this section in this section in this video we are going to look into how to choose the value of k and also uh, the advantages and the disadvantages of k and n algorithm okay uh, getting to how to choose k uh, to be very specific there is no predefined statistical method to find out uh, the most favorable value of k okay we can uh, what we can do is we can randomly choose the value of k and start computing okay now choosing a small va a value of k leads to unstable decision most of the time you will see that when your data set is quite big and you choose the k value very less then it will do quite unstable uh, uh, decision or classification okay so what we can do is one of the easiest approach that i do most of the time when i'm using a knn algorithm what i do is i plot a graph between the error rate and the k values okay this gives me the exact value of k for which uh, the error rate will be the least so what i mean this is i have let's say this is the graph and uh, here we have k value equals to 2 3 4 5 this is still 20 and here is my error rate So what it does is it will just give me an estimate okay so i might get something like uh, something like this uh it's not really specific so we can get something high and then again low so we can say over here so this point is having the least error rate so this might be k equals to uh 15 probably let's take a guess so k equals to 15 gives me the least error rate by seeing the graph so what i will do is i will choose the value of k and then train out my model that's the approach that i follow up when i'm using the kn algorithm i will plot a graph between error rate and k denoting the values of the defined range and then choose the k value as having whichever is having the minimum okay, uh, error rate so that's how you can choose the value of k now let's look into one of the examples this is one of the examples this uh, image is taken from a paper research paper where that paper used knn algorithm to predict which links okay which uh, internet links okay are legitimate which are suspicious and which are used in phishing okay phishing uh, which are probably the fraud ones okay so over here if you uh right now it's k equals to 5 yeah so k equals to 5 so when k equals to 5 the uh this new data point that is this new link this black point uh, data point might be a new link and we can say when k equals to 5 is that it is an legitimate okay the black is a legitimate one okay it belongs to the class legitimate so this link is good and you can uh, play around with it you can work out with it okay but let's say we have a new data point which is somewhere between uh here somewhere between over here okay and we have set k equal to 5 or k equal to something 5 6 somewhere nearby then again where should it belong to uh, the five points that it is near to is this 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 and this and we can say that the number of yellow tri red triangles are more so this new black point belongs to the red category okay it is a phishing it is not a, a legitimate link you should just ignore this link and move to next link okay now let's look into uh, the advantages and disadvantages of knn advantages of knn is it's a really simple algorithm it's the one of the simplest algorithm that we have it supports both classification and regression problem it also handles multi uh, multi class cases okay it is robust to the uh, when you have very noisy data okay it is robust to the noisy training data also it can be more effective if the training data is large when we have a larger training data probably in thousands millions or thousands okay probably a thousands of data points then uh, knn is uh, 
a good fit over there okay now that we have known out one side of the coin let's move into the other side where we will be knowing out the disadvantages so the disadvantage of knn algorithm is the computation time and the cost is very high leaving all the other uh, disadvantage this is the biggest disadvantage computation time and the cost in the data set is very big you are finding the equilibrium distance uh, for each and every point on accordance to all the other points so what does it cost it cost us high amount of computation time it requ also requires larger memory to store the data why is it that you are finding equilibrium distance for each and every point for corresponding to each and every point okay other than that the computation cost is high and it's always needs uh, to determine the value of k which may be some uh, which may lead to again some complex time so if you are uh, giving k equals to 4 it will give you a very uh, probably it will give you a very different value but if you give k equals 20 it will again give you some different value so it might take some time to find a nice value for k so that's it for the theoretical part or the intuition part of knn algorithm in our next section okay that is the lab section in this we are going to implement our knn algorithm in jupyter notebook so let's catch up in the lab sections